Welcome back to Omega Language Academy. Remember, this is German A1 course. If you have any doubts, you can contact us using the email address and the phone number provided on the screen right now. So let's begin. Last time we had session four, this is session six. All of them are in sequence and according to a theme. And today's theme is a conversation. So before we begin, we are gonna have a tiny conversation in German. Okay, so first of all, there are two characters, Kate and Sam. So they are talking about small things or small talks. Let's see them. Kate says, Hello, Sam. Hello, Kate. We gates. For now, don't worry about the meaning. It will come in later part. So just focus on the pronunciation and the words. Okay. Hello, Kate. We gates. Sam replies. Danke, sehr gut. Und dir? Es geht. So this is a tiny conversation which we have gone through. I'm gonna say it again. Hallo Sam. Hallo Kate. Wie geht's? Danke, sehr gut. Und dir? Es geht. So now, see, let we're gonna do now translation and understand what is going on in the conversation, right? Hallo Sam means hello Sam. I think it's pretty clear to you. Hello is hello, right? Sam says, hello, Kate, we gates. That means, hello, Kate, how are you? Now here, we gates is informal. That is short version of something long. So we're going to continue with this informal style because we are talking about friends. Okay. Hello, Kate, we gates. Hello, Kate, how are you? Informal. Danke, sehr gut und dir? Again, danke, sehr gut und dir. That means thanks, very good, and you. So if we see, danke is thanks, sehr gut is very good. So sehr is very. Remember the pronunciation class. If you haven't, you can watch the video on that. I'll leave the link in the description. S with a vowel is pronounced as Z. So it's not sehr, it's sehr. And when there is H in the middle and it is more than one syllable, it is ignored. So I'm not going to say H clearly. I'm going to say sehr. Right. Sehr gut und dir. Thanks. Very good. And you. Now, instead of do, we are using dear. That's a big thing to understand for now. Remember, this is dative for now. Don't worry about this do or dear. But remember, when you ask someone else, how are you? You say und dir. In the coming session, you'll understand this, right? And this is informal. As geht, this is an answer when you say it's okay or it's going okay. In short, the literal translation is it goes. It's going as it is. But the meaning is it's going okay. Okay, great. Now let's have another conversation and we will uh, practice along with translation. Sam says, Guten Tag, Kate. Kate says, Tag, Sam. Wie geht es Ihnen? Sam says, Danke, mir geht es gut und Ihnen? Auch gut. Now see, this is a little bit formal, I would say. And I'm going to read it again for your convenience and, you know, to get the pronunciation correct. Guten Tag, Kate. Tag, Sam. Wie geht es Ihnen? Danke, mir geht es Gut und Ihnen? Auch oh, gut. All right. So this was a conversation. Now we're going to see what it means. The second conversation. Dank. Guten Tag, Kate. Sam says. Hello, Kate. This is a way to say hello in German. Guten Tag actually is good day. Literally means. But it means hello. You can say it anytime except night. Guten Tag. Though it's good day, but we say it hello. Okay. Tag, Sam. This is shortened version of good day. So hello as well. You know, we say good morning to someone and they say morning. So this shortened version of good morning, the same way, shortened version of good day, that is day. Right. In English, we say good day in the end when we're leaving. Okay, have a nice day, a good day. But in German, you meet them to say hello and that is good day. Okay. We get this Ihnen. This is the longer version of we have seen earlier. We said we get. We Put an S here earlier. Now, if you want to make it formal, we say, we get S Ihnen. Okay? 
That means how are you, formal version. Now, each word means something else. We means how, get means going, as is it, and enan with you. So here, we get as enan means how are you or how is it going with you. Right. Danke, mir geht es gut und Ihnen. Now, you must uh, know this word, danke. Danke means thank you or thanks. Right. I am fine and you. So, mir geht es gut is formal way of saying I am fine. Things are going good with me. All right. Und Ihnen is the formal form of and you. Remember, we earlier had und dir. If you remember from previous conversation, if you don't, go back in the video, you'll find it. Here we have und ihnen instead of und dir because this is formal. Here we say and you by und ihnen. Danke. Mir geht es gut und ihnen. Good. Auch gut. Auch means fine as well or too. I'm good too. So auch means as well or too or also. Remember this new word for you, auch. See, learning vocabulary of words using context is easier. But if you write down some words, you know, and randomly in some uh, list, you'll never remember them. Trust me, I tried that for months. I forgot all of them. But with context and conversation, they come up quicker. So how good is fine as well. Okay, or good as well or good too. So this was a session six. If you remember, if you need our help, please write uh, a mail to the email ID provided above or the number provided on the screen right now. We will definitely help you. If you want full-fledged classes, one-on-one -on -one interactions or help, feel free to call us. We'll definitely help you. Thank you for listening. I hope you understood something new and enjoyed it. Have a nice time. Goodbye.